What's up Jags? This week on Jag Sports, we have the latest on the new additions to the coaching staff, as well as results from baseball and softball playoffs. This is Jag Sports. After going 21-3, baseball has advanced to playoffs in a matchup against the New Braunfels Unicorns, resulting in a 2 out of 3 win. They advanced to round 2 and played 3 games against Lake Travis but fell short in game 3. In the first round of playoffs, softball faced against the Justin Rockets, ultimately ending their season with a loss. Varsity Boys Golf advanced to state last month and competed last week finishing 5th in the state in the 6th A division. We have another update to the coaches lineup for the 2022-2023 season. Coach Andre Sierra and Coach Justin Lozano. Coach Andre Sierra from New Braunfels will be joining the Jags as the new defensive coordinator. And if his name sounds familiar to you, that's because his dad, Coach Victor Sierra, has been here since 2020. I went to New Braunfels uh, to go back home, get back to the community for two years. Years. That's where I flipped over to the defensive side of the ball. And then uh, when Coach Miller got the job here at New, uh, Johnson, he gave me a call and said, hey, come be the assistant head coach at DC. And it was an opportunity I couldn't pass up to come work for Coach Miller and this great community here at Johnson High School. Since his hiring, the campus community has welcomed and embraced him. And they've been so welcoming. Everyone's come up to me and said, welcome to Johnson, welcome to Johnson. That's how I know this is the right place for me. This is a great community. Kids are great. They, they want to be they want to be better. They're coachable. They want to take that next step. That's what I'm here to do. I'm, I'm here to help them and support them and take that next step and, and get them in the right direction as far as their playing and their academic career. Coach Sierra's mindset on defense is to be physical and always bring effort. So as far as our defensive scheme, it will be very similar to last year, 3-4 three, three, front. We can do some th different things out of that, get in some different fronts, run some different stunts, give the offense, try not to get us a, a, get a tendency on us. Effort makes up for a mistake and that effort is everything. That's one of the pillars we teach here or one of the covenants we teach to the whole team. Effort is everything. So if we're running to the football, good things are going to happen. Be physical when we get there. First guy, wrap up, run your feet. Second guy, go punch the ball out. Let's scoop and score and let's go take it to the house. And that's got to be our mentality. Defense is, is making sure we're aligned right, reading our keys, and then it's a mentality. Get to the football. Run to the football and be physical when we get there. And, and if we take care of those things, those grand themes, football is going to be pretty easy. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And for Coach Sierra, football season can't start soon enough. Hey, let's, let's get after it, man. Like, you know, shoot, football, football don't last forever. So right now is the time to go. Okay, right now is the time to go and we're going to attack it. We're going to head downhill and one game at a time and then and, and let's see what happens at the end of the day. And there's a lot of good things coming for the Jaguars. Kanan Fairley and Tate Underwood competed at State for track and field on Saturday. Tate competed in the mile and Kanan competed in the 300 meter hurdles and the 110 meter hurdles, both placing top 10. If you're planning to continue in the athletic program next year, here are the dates for the summer strength and conditioning camps on campus. All sports will host two June and July sessions this summer from 8 to 10 each morning. Football camps are June 20th through the 23rd, June 27th through the 30th, July 5th through the 8th, and July 11th through the 15th. Session 1 is for 9th graders from 8 to 10, and Session 2 is for 10th through 12th from 10 to noon. Girls soccer camp from 6th through 9th grade is May 31st through June 2nd from 8 to 11. Boys soccer camp is for 7th through 9th graders and is June 1st through the 3rd from 8 to 11. Volleyball camp starts June 1st through the 3rd. Session 2 is for 9th graders and is from noon to 3. Girls basketball camp is July 19th through the 21st and is for 9th graders from 11 to 2. Boys basketball will host a camp beginning June 13th through the 15th. Session 2 is for 7th through 9th graders from noon to 3. Baseball camp is June 6th through the 8th from 5.30 to 8. Softball camp for 7th through 9th graders will be June 7th through 9th from 8th to 11. For more information, you can visit the athletics webpage. That's it for JAG Sports. See you back in the fall with more, more JAG, JAG action. action.